as you might be able to tell from the uh, the tan, I've been away for the weekend. You're probably wondering where I went. Did I go to sunny Spain, America maybe, Beijing? No, I uh, went to Ringwood, which is a small village town in the south of England. I went away for the weekend with my church. We had loads of fun, had a big water fight, played frisbee, played volleyball, all that kind of stuff. But the only trouble is, I did manage to get quite sunburnt on my feet. Who gets sunburnt on their feet? Literally, I know no one else that's ever been sunburnt on their feet. But I was sunburnt so bad that I haven't been able to walk on my feet for three days. My feet were all red and swollen, and I literally, today is the first day I've been able to actually stand up on them without it hurting. This made for an interesting coach journey home, as I had my big camping rucksack, my tent over my shoulder, and I was limping onto the tube. I must have looked like a right nutter. But this weekend, a very exciting thing happened for us British people. Andy Murray won the tennis. Woo! This is great news for us, as it's the first time a British person has won Wimbledon for 77 years. A fact that Twitter has been getting very annoyed about. People on Twitter are saying, Oh, but a few women have won Wimbledon more recently than the past man to have won. Therefore, you're all sexist pigs! Actually, Jamie Murray won the mixed doubles in 2007, but no one's getting angry about that. Now, obviously, I'm not condoning sexism. I think it's a bad thing to be discriminated on based on your gender. However, what I am saying is maybe we should be a bit more careful about how we're throwing out the term sexist. Because in this case, while it's true that a woman has won more recently than the last man, also, a man has won in the mixed doubles, but people don't seem to be getting angry about that. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Are the newspapers being quite sexist in saying it's been 77 years? Or are they just to do that because they're talking about the last time a British man has won in the finals. Do let me know in the comments down below.